Hi everybody, I'm back again with another video and this time we're going to download everything from Mediafire the links that I've provided we'll see what needed updating and see what works and what don't so as you can see I've got JDownloader 2 that's the program I recommend for downloading you can turn your computer on and off and just leave it and let it do its thing it'll take care of everything and basically go to Mediafire and just click the link say copy link and if you've got JDownloader open it'll just add them as you can see I've got them all added here starting with launch box and then all the emulators and what I'm going to do is I'm going to click download them all and once that's done I'll come back to you and we'll have a look at what's what's up online what's missing what needs updating so I'll see you in a little while once it's all downloaded and we'll start downloading now so that's all done didn't take long at all total package size 8.34 gigabytes i've not downloaded the main chds at the moment uh, everything on mediafire has all now been downloaded and it's auto extracted something i don't normally do but i'll let it do it this time and it seems to have done a good job so there's the downloads folder and you can see auto extracted just like that so i've already moved Launchbox onto my drive J. Like I said to you, that will make things a little bit easier if you can keep it to the same letter. And the first thing I noted, the emulators folder was missing. So you need to make the emulator folder and then move all the emulators into that folder. So that's all that downloaded, all moved across. Before you start to uh, launch box, I would get your Sindon software operating. So, Sindon light gun, start that up. You need to make sure that you've got this set up for your gun. So obviously, it's going to come pre packed for my gun, but you'll need to set this up yourself and check everything and get the uh, gun calibration and everything set up first. So, the software is included, but you do need to set your own gun up. So that's that bit done once you've done that you can leave that running next thing you want to do is make sure you've got the latest demo shooter so we need to upgrade that and it is recommended that you delete the file just in case it leaves any old files behind and i've already downloaded it Let's rename it to demo shooter So we move that across and that'll need resetting back up. So you follow yesterday's video. Go for your GUI. Device. Save config. Done. Auto op key. I've included that. If you've not got it running, you can click on set up there and get that working. And that's about everything done. And now we just need to start up the Launchbox software and make sure that's up to date. So click on Launchbox. If it says there's an update, feel free to update it. So there you go that's up to date now so you can click don't show this again and close so that is now up to date you can see the artworks all pre-downloaded for you you can ask launchbox to scan again if anything's missing but at the moment everything's got artwork and some of the games are included if it's a small enough file. Yeah, so there you go. So out of the box, that seems pretty good. It seems to be working, it's linking up. And obvious things are, if you wanna make adjustments to emulators, That'll be in this section here, the path, etc. You've also got 
download and update media. So if you've got artwork missing or you want particular artwork that I've not included, you can just tell it to scan. That's that. It's not a lot more I can tell you. If you want to edit a path of a specific game, go into edit, edit metadata, launching, and that'll be the path of the game. So you can follow that back if you're not on the same drive and adjust it. Yeah, not a lot more I can show you in this part. It's all downloaded, opened up pretty good. So back in the main folder, don't have to touch any of this. We went over demo shooter, that's up to date. Uh, auto walk key you've installed. We don't need to worry about no mouses. Sindon software you've run and you check that's working. And I've included in there a auto op key script to start up launchbox and Sindon software. So if you take this auto op key, which is in launchbox, Sindon, Sindon light gun, auto start, you add that to your desktop. When you click it, that will start Sindon software and then start launchbox. I'll just open it up and show you. Edit with Notepad plus plus. So first of all, when you click auto start, it will check to see if there's any Sindon software running. We don't want a double instance, so it will close down the current version or the open version of Sindon software. It'll sleep for one thousand, and it'll launch a fresh Sindon software, and then it'll launch Launchbox. Put that on your desktop, and that will start everything, make a life a lot easier. And like I said. That's tucked in the Sindon software, so Launchbox Sindon, Sindon Lightgun software, auto start, and you can just send to desktop as a shortcut. So that's as simple as that. So that'll help start it up. You don't need to use that. You can start the Sindon software and then launch Launchbox. So that's that covered. Emulators, you know, they all go in the emulators folder. Games, right. I put the folders in the games folder already and inside the games folder you'll put your game in here and i've left you an auto op key script to gear a start edit with a notepad and you can see that's the script on there if this doesn't line up to your drive you'll need to adjust that drive j it should automatically work and we've talked about them anyway so you should be able to edit it and work your way around that uh, not much more i can say yeah, so download everything, emulators in the emulators, run launch box, let it update, scan for new uh, artwork if you want to, add your games to the games folder, and you should be all right to go. Most of the stuff should be uh, easy enough to run, but it is emulation this, and I've said a million times, it's not perfect, it's a lot better than it were, you're going to have teething problems. You're going to want to play a game one day and for some reason it just don't want to work. You come back to it next day and it's fine. But this is all about giving you a start and trying to make things a little bit easier. So most of the software is included in the downloads. Emulators are pre-configured and good luck with it. Thanks for watching. Any questions, just drop us a comment below. I'll do my best to help. I'm no expert as I keep saying, but I'm working my way through it and I'll catch you on the next one.